money. Welcome to Granny Kid. Um, I delayed myself again. I only do it about once a month because I find it depressing. depressing. You're supposed to wear your cell phones. Wait. Um, I had talked a little bit last week about uh, a, ma a magazine, which is a new magazine, it's a woman's world. And the particular week I bought that caught my attention was the one that featured Dr. Oz. And the reason that caught my attention is because there was a whole page of suggestions on losing weight and filling up and getting on the toilet. And when I looked up his link, he has a free uh, weight loss program where you sign in every day and you write down what you eat and you um, do the suggested exercises and they, you set your goals and they chart your progress and tell you how many calories you should have. So I set that up yesterday to start. And apparently I'm eating way less than I should to reach my goal, which I don't understand because with the workouts I'm doing and the cuts back in my diet, I should have exceeded my goal. And in we've worked out for 86 days and I've lost seven pounds. But it has been a really cold, wet spring. And my metabolism is such that in the cold weather, I stay my body, no matter how much I exercise or don't eat, I don't lose weight. But when the heat comes and the sun comes, I suddenly lose weight. And because we're having a slow spring this year, it's cold and it's wet. Um, I'm cold all the time, and so I'm bundling up, and my body is keeping the carbs. And I'm not being able to get outside in the sun and sweat. I think I've been out twice, twice to work in the yard when the sunshine it's rained. I've never seen so much rain as we've had this spring. The ground is squashy when you walk on it. It's just like sponge. The garden I planted is, is near ruined if we don't seem to get warm weather and sun. But anyways, um, you can go online on Dr. Oz's website and find out how to connect to this. And so I set it up. It's a 11 week workout, a goal, which means obviously I'm extending my workout because I never reached Very reasonable my target because the target weight is the max that I can weigh for my bones from so, my height. Um, I, I see bullying again are sick looking middle aged women who look harsh almost and kinders and that is an appeal to me. So I don't want to be that way and if I ever were terribly sick I don't know if I'd have the strength to recover and I don't do well in the winters by freezing so being thin I get colder. So 145 I think is reasonable for me. It's a weight that I would be happy at. So that's my goal, but I still have to lose 13 pounds. So I am going to do the Dr. Oz program, which requires me to work out for 20 minutes, not 10 or 14 or 15. So you won't get to see all of it, or maybe I'll let you see little clips of it, little, little short places. So it'll be a blog, not a workout you can follow along with unless you create it and do it on your own. And I'm blogging right now, not exercising, because on my Mondays and Fridays, I'm going to do weights. It's going to be strengthening exercises, lifting weights, and uh, doing things that will strengthen my muscles. And on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'll be doing my regular stretches and so forth. And um, walking on Saturday and Sunday. He suggests she only work out five days a week. Uh, I've been trying to work out seven days a week. He suggests only five. But I want to get a walk in, and I like to walk with my husband, so I'm going to walk in the evenings, uh, even though it's not required. And my husband's worried I'm becoming a fanatic, which I will not be, because I can't wait till this is done. I'm just praying and hoping I reach my target weight and can maintain it. So we'll see what next winter brings. So I've done my journaling, and I had a really healthy breakfast, way below the 400 calories they suggested, but I was full. I am not a big reader. I, that's why I don't understand my weight problem. I had a oatmeal. And I had raspberries out of my garden. I had uh, two percent, half a cup of two percent milk, and it's a new smoothie with a light smoothie, which is around eighty calories for half four ounces. And I only suggest four ounces a day, every day. I had my vitamins and I had my green tea, and uh, I'm fine. I don't feel hungry, and it would be silly to eat more to try to get four hundred calories. So maybe I'll have a muffin on this one. So here we go. We're going to do weights now. Dr. Oz's program has uh, people who are fitness coaches who will give you video help to show you how to do all this stuff. But I'm so stiff and I didn't take a muscle relaxing or painful. 
So I'm going to do some stretches first just to keep my body in the back of the weight. Uh, regular and necessary one that I'm doing today. Maybe as I warm up, I can get right to that. Oh, okay. so here we go. Stretching, stretching, stretching. The lower I go, the tighter the bowl. Just want to keep those legs from curling up. Start the knee forward just a bit. So the fall when I increase, the bottom of my hands get from my hips, the stronger the pull of my hands. I really feel up my calves, the area around my calves and my knees. And I'm trying to get so that my legs can actually lift straight up when I do those other exercises. My back is getting a little stronger each day. So the good thing about the rainy weather is it's kept me indoors more. Which isn't great because when I'm working in the sun, I can't even feel any pain. This is any cold weather that you fall in like this one. And then you squat down and then you lift your weights up. And then you reach up. And then you squat down. And apparently this is a good workout for the whole family. For the whole family. For the whole family and the whole body to help get it by your weight. Now, I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I definitely am feeling it. But I comprehend it from the video anyway. This is actually the one he features in his uh, skyline there that he put in the women's room. Right I didn't set a timer. It's supposed to be 20 minutes a day. So I'll have to check the number. I'm hoping this one will help my knees. I could probably ask my daughter. She's been reading for me. She probably has all the answers. I'm actually on a slope. I'm sure that's not good for my back. I'm going to turn sideways to try to get the camera from the floor here. And uh, because of my back, I can only do 50 right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three. I started to do my hip flexes while I did it. That's what that extra popping was about. Now I have these uh, gear weights here. I'm going to put my upper weights on. I'm going to grab and pull my leg up. And I'm going to do that when I curl around. I do that while I'm doing it for them. Okay, so here we go.
cushion on the floor, so a little wobbly. Got to do my scissors with the weight on my fingers. So I'm applying weight to my abdomens. So as I do the fire breathing, and I breathe in, my abdomen goes up, and as I breathe out, it sinks down. And the reason I'm adding the weight is because this is the weight segment of my workout Friday to Monday that I'm trying to uh, decrease my muscle growth. And I need that. And I'm going to do fire breathing while I do this because it'll get blood flow into an area where I'm having I'm healing from a back injury. So here we go. Weight bearing, weight lifting. I'm trying to work on a Dr. Oz get fit program, hoping to lose the last 15 pounds so I might actually be able to reach my target weight by the end of my 100 day grand fit challenge. So here's to you. Get fit, stay fit, and I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget your worship. I've already done mine. But my devotional before I came in. <laughs> Have a good day.